In this video I'm making a colour graph plate using mount card as the plate. I'm going to use various techniques to make and build up the image on the plate. I'm looking to create different textures on different areas of the card to define the image of the artwork I am using. I start off by considering the size of the finished print. I want the print to be about A3 size and I'm going to print onto Somerset velvet paper which is 240 grams. This paper comes in standard imperial size, 22 by 30 inches or 56 by 76 centimeters and I can get two prints out of one sheet. This will leave each print with a margin of five or seven centimeters, giving me plenty of space for registering and placing the print on the press when I come to print and that will follow in a later video. So the plate size is A3 and I have trimmed off about 17 millimeter along one edge to bring the size down to 28 centimeters. This means I'll have a little bit more even space around the print on the paper. The artwork I'm going to use is from a sketchbook I did a few years ago and I have drawn the image to size and made a tracing of it. So this is the sketchbook. And I've got lots of different, I don't know if you can see them here, but lots of different ideas that I've done and I just keep notes of them like that. So I've taken one of these and I've worked on that. I've taken the, the image and I've drawn it up to the size that I want and I've put it onto tracing paper. So what I'm going to do now is transfer this tracing onto the, 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 uh, the card. What you have to remember is if you've got text or anything like that, or you're concerned about how it looks on the, on the, on the print, that if it's going to reverse. So you need to consider that when you're transferring it onto your, onto your plate. So um, I'm just going to, with a, a graphite, stick I'm just going to apply some graphite to the print you could use carbon paper but for what it's worth I'm quite happy to use a graphite stick make sure you cover all the the lines that you're gonna be transferring This is not a complicated artwork, so it's going to be quite easy to, to transfer over. So I've got the graphite on the back of the tracing paper now, and I'm putting some blue tack just on the corners of the plate, the mount board, just to hold it while I trace it. So now I'll take the tracing and I'll put it in position lining up with the size of the plate then I'm going to take a hard pencil I always use a hard pencil a 4H or something like that which is good and then I'm going to start just going over the lines and transferring it onto the plate It's really just a guide for me with this because the, the design's not complicated and there isn't going to be any registration with it. So I'm, I'll carry on drawing this and I'll be back and see you in a couple of minutes. So I've finished going over the lines. I'll take the tracing off now and see what we've got. Yep, that's... that's good I can play I can uh, work with that now <laughs> so the next stage is for me to decide what techniques are going to go where on this plate and that will be the next part of the video so now I'm going to take some masking film 
which comes in no it comes in sheets it comes in a roll and I have a roll and I've cut sections off for the size that I need so I'm gonna it's it's a plastic film which is like the adhesive on one side and it's see-through so I'm gonna place this over the areas which I want to mask off and I'm gonna take a pen and draw these shapes onto the onto the masking film Now I'm going to take a pair of scissors and just cut the shape out. Because of the nature of this piece of artwork, it, the, the sort of registration of it um, and the accuracy of it doesn't, is, doesn't come into, into it. If it was something a little bit more um, intricate and needed that registration, I'd be a lot more um, careful with my drawing and make it a lot more accurate. So I've cut the shape out and that will go over here. I'll then peel the back off and stick it on. So I've got several more shapes to do and I'm also going to do this these top shapes here. So, as you can see, I want that shape into it and I want it masked off because what I'm going to do now, when I've got all the masking areas done, I'm going to spray some varnish over the whole plate to create a texture and we'll see how that comes out. So let me just do a quick tracing of this, transferring it onto the, onto the masking film. Yep, that's it. I'll cut this out. Yeah, I'm just in the middle of video here, you couldn't answer. <laughs> okay. I've cut out all the shapes and now I'm going to place them. So peel the layer off the back and just put them in position where I want them. Like so. So we'll go through and stick all these down and then we'll get, move on to um, spraying the plate with the varnish. Okay, I've gone outside now to, to spray varnish the plate. Um, I've got two different acrylic varnishes. One is a matte and the other one is a, is a gloss. So we'll have two different effects. So here we go.
I'm not spraying it heavy. I want to have areas where there is the plate is exposed. So that's the the mat. I'm going to put the gloss on now. I've shaken these first. which you always need to do with aerosol. Okay, I'm happy with that, I'm going to leave that. So, it is a little bit tacky, so I'm going to move it over there at the way. Now with the, the aerosols, they, if you don't clear the nozzle, they do tend to block. So I tend to hold them upside down and it will stop spraying. Yep, that's that one done. And same with this one. Yeah, done. So I'm back in my studio now. I've got... Um, the plate and it's dried um, and I can see that there is a variation in the surface and I don't know whether the camera is going to pick, pick up that um, and if I peel back an area that hasn't got it I can see it but I'm hoping that the camera can too but we'll see how it prints so I'm going to continue working on this plate by taking an etching needle and I'm drawing lines into this area here and I've got one more to do which is this one so I just firm pressure with a with basic etching needle it's not particularly sharp and I'm just creating a linear texture to this area And I want all of these shapes, which are repetitive, to have the same texture to it. And I'm going to go through the plate and define areas as I'm going along. I have in my mind at the moment that I might make a second plate for this, which will print over the top. But we'll see how things go. So I'm just doing this before I take off the mast areas and then I can see what I'm doing. So I'll lift off some of these things now, this masking film, just very carefully, seal it away. And I'll keep hold of those because I don't know whether I might use them again for something on this plate. final three are the top ones so that one will come off there are going to be some areas of this plate which I'm going to cut away so it's not going to remain just a basic rectangle as it is at the moment so the next shape I'm going to work with is these long rectangular linear shapes and I'm going to cut the area Score the surface of the card with a scalpel. I 
I want the style of this plate to be, or this particular artwork, I should say, to be quite loose and freehand drawn. So I'm quite happy to work away with this without, without any rulers or, or straight edges. So as you can see, I've just taken, lifted up that area that I've scored and I'm just going to peel that away. And it's coming away quite easily. Okay, so just I'm going to go over and do the other ones as well. So to go over what we what we've achieved so far, we've got these areas here, these circles, and these U shapes, which are the original surface of the card. We've also got the sprayed varnish area, which is another surface. We've created a third one with the etching needle drawing lines into these underbellies, I would call them, of the structure. And now we are creating another texture by, by uh, revealing this rough area underneath the surface which will hold more ink so i'm going to continue draw, cutting these away and then i'm going to come back to you for the next stage that's the cutout parts completed these areas here which are now exposed to the rougher texture underneath of the the card uh, <coughs> The next thing I'm going to do is cut out some areas and the areas I'm going to cut away are going to be these. And that. So I'm going to take a, a, a scalpel and follow these lines as carefully as I can. You have to remember when you're using extremely sharp blades like these, you do need to keep your, your hands away from the blade and just take your time cutting through. You don't need to do it in one go and it's quite often safer to make several passes with it. And it's advisable where as possible to use a sharp blade. And I don't think this one's that particularly sharp. Got it, that's that. <clears throat> so I'll start with this one here. And just define the area because I want because I want that bottom part of the circle to touch this this line here so as there's a join between there and there and obviously the one from here to here. <clears throat> so again, take a, the, the scalpel and I'm just going to cut through that.
I'm looking on the back and I can see if the cut's gone through to the other side. Yeah, that's that cut completed. Looking okay. As you can see, I've been using a, a cutting mat, um, which does help. Um, you're not scoring into all sorts of other areas you don't really want to. never easy cutting circles and curves and I always find that it's just as easy to move the card what you, that you're cutting as it is to move the blade around in the shape so it's a, sh it's a combination of two that I use So that's cut away. So I'm going to continue cutting the rest of this and I'm going to change the blade to a sharper blade um, and then, then I'll come back to you again. As you can see now I've got the shapes cut out and I'm already to, already to go on to the next stage, nearly ready for printing. So we'll go over what we've done. Um, we've got a, a surface here which is the original surface of the mount card. This area here is where we've sprayed the two different varnishes on. Uh, we've got these cutout areas here. This section here, we have the surface of the card cut away. So it's, I mean, it's, it's a rougher surface underneath. I was gonna say emboss, but it's, it's the opposite from embossing really, isn't it, I suppose. Um, and we've also got these the um, lines that we've drawn into this area here and we're going to see how that prints. <coughs> so what's next? I've got to work on these areas at the top here that I've got and also the circles which have got which has got a diagonal through the radius on it. I think what I'm going to do with that that's next. I've gone back and looked at what I've done on the plate and I'm not sure that the effect that I'm after has come out with those sprayed varnishes. So what I'm doing now, I'm going over the plate again with um, a toothbrush and just splattering on some uh, gloss varnish in liquid form. And then I'm gonna let that dry and then that will give me more of the texture that I'm looking for, really. I'm hoping. I'm getting a few blobs around, 
which I wasn't I was trying to avoid but I'm happy to work with those as long as they're distributed fairly evenly Try and make sure I've got an even coating all over the plate. With, with this being gloss varnish, I'm hoping, well I know it will, um, produce a, a shiny finish which, will, which won't hold the ink that well so it'll wipe off quite easy. I'm just kind of trying to get a couple of drops to come. Around the plate to balance it out composition wise really. Right, I'm going to go with that and let it dry now and then I'll come back and do some more on it. So the last thing I'm going to do with this plate now, I'm going to work on these circles here. The six of them. And what I've done, I'm going to, um, I'm going to put some strips of masking tape, which I've already pre-cut, such as this one and add these to the plate and it'll create yet another texture so I'm gonna take this bone folder and just press it into place secure a bit more I'll take another one And add that one there. Again, take the bone folder and just press it into place. Then take my, um, my craft knife and just trim the edges. And I'll just remove those waste bits. Again, take the bone folder and just press firmly on that tape. And that tape will create again a different texture so i'm going to go through the rest of the the circles and add that and they'll become almost symbolic in their appearance the other area i need to deal with is this shape here at the moment i've got a piece of masking film stuck to it and i quite like the idea of leaving that masking tape on and leaving that smooth surface However, the masking film will not stand up to printing and wiping of the ink. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to transfer this shape onto some masking film. And the masking film, film again will add another texture and dimension to it. So I put two pieces of masking film onto my chopping board here. And I'm going to drop this 
onto the the, ma the masking film and then I'm just going to cut the shape out in the masking film in the masking tape I'm just going to go around it again with my craft knife Then the inner bit. So I'll take that away. Take this outside the area away here, which I don't need. Lift off the masking film and I've got the shape there that I'm going to work with. So I just transfer this into position on the plate and Bob is your uncle You may see that there's little areas here which is, has got some of the, the cutting board which is an old one um, coming off the onto the tape or off the board onto the tape um, but I'm, I'll live with that I'm just going to burnish it into position using the good old bone folder like so. So I've got several more of these to do and I think when I've done that I'm going to be happy with it and I'm ready to go and print. And the print will be on another video and we'll go through the printing process there. Thank you for watching. I hope it's been useful and we'll see you on the next one.